My name is uh, Steven Brussen. I'm living in Rotterdam for about 10 years now. Online, I'm better known as iSteve and I draw on bananas. It's uh, my main thing now. I started with drawing on the bananas sort of per accident. My wife has been telling me to use this new app, uh, Instagram. It was years ago and um, I was playing with the app and I was at work at the office and I wanted to take a picture of something to see what the app would do. But there wasn't anything interesting around to take a picture of. It was like, you know, office building, all gray, uh, chairs, computers, nothing fun. But then I saw I still had a banana left from lunch. And then I figured, oh, I just draw a little face on it. And then it would look funny. And then I could take a picture of that and then I can check out the filters and how it works. So, but it's all started like, you know, to have something funny to take a picture of. I make sketches to see how it would fit into a banana, into the shape or what would be like a cool approach. And then I take a picture of the banana without any drawings and I make a, a test drawing in Photoshop. And then I use that as a reference when I start to actually draw on the actual banana. So it's at my home behind my computer. Those are, uh, that's, yeah, that's the place I, I draw them. If you go way back into my Instagram feeds, like the, the first hundred doodles, they all have the same background. And that's like my office desk at work. Or sometimes it's like the banana, the shape, inspires me. Other times I have already picked a topic, like a movie or some music or um, like an animal. I recently did one with uh, police shooting in America. When something like that happens, it it's also a way to process the event, also with terroristic attacks. And sometimes something happens and sort of people are already almost expecting me to make make a banana out of it. So I'd say portraits. Portraits are the hardest for me to do. Because the shape of the banana, it's like really thin. So if you, you draw like a face on a part of it, it's like the rest of the banana becomes his body and it, it looks just weird. One of Dali, that's like my best one, but it's also hard to um, get a good likeness when you're zooming into the face. The proportions have to be just right. I like to tribute like the, the great classics like Van Gogh, Rembrandt, uh, Klimt, Alphonse Mucha, those are like the the big ones from um, when I was younger and I was uh, drawing. I was very uh, impressed by those artists, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, like the, the big names. I can connect like my face with how I try to be creative. The Michelangelo ceiling painting of um, God and Adam with the fingers giving the, the the spark of life and for me it has like another layer like he was giving in life but for me it's like life is also to be creative so it's a, like a combination of being grown up with all the stories and uh, still have a connection to those they resonate with me. Instagram was the first place that like big art accounts also picked on my banana art and then it also got like huge attention on my other channels like Facebook um, and Twitter but it all started at Instagram and I still have the most response and the most uh, like most of my following is is on Instagram people would expect uh, someone to put a lot of time uh, into making a work that will be rotten like within a few hours. And another factor is like, well, the banana on its own is like a popular fruit. I think it's the most popular fruit worldwide. 
I think the color is like a very happy, vibrant color. I definitely eat more bananas now. The fish bone design is one of my favorites because it was really like a turning point for me. It was my first banana that got picked up by uh, a huge art account. So it was like a sort of uh, a happy accident, as Bob Ross would say. I wouldn't have be here without uh, the good advice of my wife and Instagram. <laughs> where we come from, where we go.